dug around some more on Thingiverse and found this one, which is understand adjustable film at school stands, three holes in it. You look at it here. And this uh, stand pops into a base. Let's see if we can find that one. Here's the base, so it just pops in there. And this screws into the standard Dreamer. Uh, it's for the Dreamer, but the Dreamer NX is the same case. It only has a little spool on one side. So there's two different spools, or there's two different uh, holders. There's uh, this one. And then if you have a Dreamer, a regular Dreamer, then there's one for the right hand side if you have your second spool, but we don't have to print that one. So, so we need to print this, we need to print the base. And we need to print the, um, the longer uh, rod that goes inside the spool itself. So we're, we could print them uh, all at once. I'm just going to print them one at a time this time. So we'll start with the base. Not fast enough. OK, so the devices connect. All right, we're connected, and then we will just say begin printing. All right, so it's downloading the file. It's going to heat up the bed and so forth, and we'll just take it from there. About a half, a little over half an hour print. The things are almost heated up already. I'm setting up the GoPro to do a time lapse. Every 10 seconds, it'll take a picture, and we'll convert that into a time lapse movie at the end. That would be kind of interesting. Should start up any second, five more degrees. Up oh, and it's off. All right, we'll let the time lapse tell the story. including heating, so we need to add about 12 minutes to the prediction by Simplify 3D. So the print looks good, we're going to let it cool off before we take it off the stand, then we'll go on to the next, the next part of this Omni stand, adjustable Omni stand. So this, this is encouraging so far. Alright, so it's cooled down to about 50 degrees, so we're going to go ahead and try to get this off. Keep going. Alright, let's see what the bottom looks like. Bottom looks good. I think it looks good. So let this cool off and then we'll start the next print. Oh, that's cooling off. All right, next we need to print the stand itself. And this clips, it clicks into the base that we just printed. And you can see where the little um, cutouts are so that the rod, when it comes in, can lock, lock the rod in place. And this has some overhangs, including on the bottom here, these little lock uh, segments here. So we're gonna print this with, um, with supports, so we'll look at our process settings, and we selected ABS supports, and we set that up in the last project. Well, actually, I didn't show you that project because it doesn't work, but I'll show you that later. Actually, before for this part of the video, I will show you what I tried to do before. So, uh, let's see. So, for supports, we just took the default for supports. It seemed to work well for the other projects. So. Do we prepare for print? And we'll see where the supports show up. So this gray here, here, and underneath here are the supports for the overhangs. So there's also some overhangs right in here. 
So that should make the print uh, more solid. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're still connected to the printer. It didn't shut down. So we're going to go ahead and start printing. This has 148 layers, and this is going to take two hours and seven minutes. So add about 15 minutes, so maybe two and a half hours or so to print. All right, so it's sending the file over, and pretty soon we'll be on its way. There it goes. It's starting to heat up, and we'll let the time lapse take over from here. things cool down. It's too late to do another print tonight, so I'm just going to cool till tomorrow. And I'll take it off then. And based on the other print I did, the supports should come off easily, so we'll see how that works out tomorrow. Alright, good progress. We've still got quite a bit of ABS left. I have one other project I'm going to do with it, so that looks like we're okay on filament. But again, that's the filament that came with the printer, so... It's performing quite well so far. I'm really pleased with it. All right, it's the next morning, so everything's cooled down. And we'll just take this off. Looks like a really good print. There we go. <laughs> All right, came off some of the... Uh, some of the uh, supports stayed on the platform, but that's not the whole problem. Let's take it over to the workbench and we'll see how we clean it up. All right, so we've got some supports here. Just peel right off. We've got some supports down in here. Get those out. No problem. No problem for those. It's a little bit of stringing there, but that's not a big deal. Let me get these supports underneath these little lock thingies. Those are popping right out. Now I would say the direct or the <laughs> Simplify 3D software has paid for itself already with handling all this support stuff for me. I'm not a this is my first 3D printer, so I don't have a lot of experience. And the um, the Dreamer NX has been great too, because I'm not really interested in a uh, tinkering project. I just want to print stuff. So, that all looks pretty good. Let's try the lock here. See if it locks. Yeah, look at that. Looks solid. It feels solid. So this snaps into this base somehow. Let's see if we can figure that out. I guess just like that. Not sure why this has this little depression here because there's nothing, there's nothing sticking out here that goes in there. But if this goes on like this, it fits very snugly. So I would say it's not gonna go anywhere. This is where you screw it in, so. Yeah, not sure what that's for. I have to find out, maybe. In any case, here's the real one of the, the PLA reel that came with it. It had this insert. And then here's this uh, locking ring. So that can go through here and lock into here. No problem. And then this is the PETG one kilogram reel that I bought. And um, <clears throat> so it's obviously we showed before, it's a lot, it's a bigger diameter, it's a lot thicker. So, but 
but this has the same uh, insert size. So this this uh, rod here isn't long enough to get through and engage in this thing. So <clears throat> the next part of, to build, or the next part to print is a 100 millimeter rod that would go through this big of a this wide of a, a reel and then engage in these uh, slots here. So that's our next project. It's all part of the same Thinkiverse project, but it's my next thing to print.